This plane, the English Electric Lightning, has over nine times as much power. It produces over 36,500 pounds of thrust and can go over twice the speed of sound. It certainly separates the men from the boys. The Lightning is based in Thunder City, a private aircraft facility in Cape Town, South Africa. It's home to entrepreneur Mike Beachyhead's extraordinary collection of military planes. He has created a living museum here to house his own private air force of 14 fully airworthy military jets, among them some of the most awesome aircraft ever built. Mike made his fortune through a range of business ventures, including manufacturing boats. Now he has plowed his money into Thunder City to indulge his passion for fast, powerful military jets. His first plane was a Hawker Hunter, but as a dedicated adrenaline junkie, he soon wanted more power and bought one of the fastest military jets ever built, the supersonic English Electric Lightning, a plane that really lives up to its name. To buy one now would cost a cool million dollars. I'm a bit of a performance junkie. I mean, you can't really go much further than that in, uh, in performance terms. The English Electric Lightning is a truly awesome machine. It was designed as a high-altitude interceptor. Its job was to get as high and as fast as possible and take out an intruder with its air-to-air -air missiles. It's capable of twice the speed of sound and can climb at an initial rate of 50,000 feet per minute to an altitude of 10 miles. It achieves this extraordinary ascent with two Rolls-Royce Avon turbojet engines stacked one on top of the other. Once the afterburners are ignited, they produce 36,500 pounds of thrust. That's 40 times more than all the race cars in the Indy 500 put together. But to produce that incredible power means massive fuel consumption. To put it in the layman's terms, your average car's fuel tank will be going out the back end every five seconds on, on this machine. In a plane with such brutal performance, there's little Mike could do if he got into trouble. There is an ejection seat, but it's not an experience he's in any hurry to try. I pull this handle over here. <clears throat> That'll eject me outside the aeroplane at a force of about um, 20 times my body weight, 20 G. So it's something we preferably don't want to do. It would be like having your body shot out of a gun at the speed of a bullet. Even though Mike doesn't like the idea of using the ejection seat as a lifesaver, it did help him convince his wife to marry him. I try to share uh, quite a bit of my experiences with her. In fact, we got engaged in one of these machines. In fact, the lightning was actually a hunter. And um, rolled her upside down and said, would you marry me, otherwise you, I'll eject you. So, always negotiate from some strength. I'm ready for start, eh? Mike has built Thunder City from scratch. He has masterminded its growth into a multi-million dollar operation. But it's not the business side that excites him. It's strapping himself into the pilot seat of his lightning for a burst of real power that gets him going. Mike accelerates his English electric lightning to 200 miles per hour in just 12 seconds and then pulls up into a near vertical climb. He climbs at an initial rate of 50,000 feet per minute. That's like riding in an elevator up 5,000 stories in just one minute. It can climb faster than any other plane ever built. It takes not only skill, but sheer guts to control this beast. And unlike modern fighter planes, there are no backup computers to keep the plane in the air. Yes, these are probably more challenging machines to fly than the more modern airplanes you have out there today, which have carefree handling and fly-by-wire and all that stuff. This is a, 
real seat of the pen stick and rudder type flying. There are a few maneuvers Mike avoids, or else he risks spinning out of control. He never strays too far from home, and he always keeps his eyes on the fuel gauge. If he doesn't, he risks a very sudden end to the flight. It doesn't like more than one roll in either direction. And then um, the real kill item was the fuel. So we look at that very, very carefully. 